imagine pendulum playing, but they only use blue, blue lights. Alright, so yeah, it's not pendulum. Remote YCS just finished and we lost. But it inspired me. It inspired me. The losing the remote YCS inspired me. Because win or lose, we booze. So it's all good. Uh, yo, Harris, can you tell me uh, what these are? These are water shots for oh, hydration. Hydration, thank you. You know how they do IV shots? Yeah. This is. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you it's think that. It hydrates. You. Hydra do you yeah. think that's probably why I lost earlier today? Because I wasn't hydrated? Exactly why. Okay, <laughs> you got okay. it. So this equals blue eye white dragon that's beating pendulum. Whoa, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> Play the best Yu-Gi-Oh card, uh, Charizard with it. I'm gonna beat everyone in the duels. <laughs> are we gonna play? Are you, are you gonna play at YCSNR? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna with Charizard. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. The black hole. Yeah, black, black hole. hole on black hole. You can yeah. use Charizard. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna win. Why are we even we're all playing for second place? Bina. Let's play some beer pong to get our mind off the loss. Two v two. What do you guys think is gonna win? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Play that game again. <laughs> I'm so so sad that I lost. The but I'm gonna win and high, so it's all good. <laughs> Martin. I think Harris will win. Tie, tie. Uh, think about it really hard. Yeah. What do you want? I know. And then, and then when I think it, don't say it out loud. I want you to say it in your head as I touch your head. Okay. Okay. No, no, I'm just believing. I'm saying. Okay. Slowly open your head. <laughs> Is that as a size? Yeah. <laughs> oh, to play 30 Hatcho up, being sweet with Fistial to win and destroy your opponents. I want another Locust today with this deck. Yo. Oh, yeah. I was just saying bye. Sorry, God! Yo, my pleasure. We'll have to duel soon, bro. Yeah, yeah, we will. For the decks. For the decks. We're going to play deck for deck. I'm going to win. He's playing another go second deck, but he's playing the loser go second deck. You guys know what that is. That is Tenpai for losers. Anyway, this is a cool go second deck. Always go second. And I built it so amazingly now. What this deck does now is you play more in your opponent's turn. Uh, just so your opponent doesn't play with themselves and you can play with your opponent instead. Let's go. So, for those who don't know, we were playing 30 hand trapping of Bestial. And the point of the deck is you want to, uh, with hand traps on the opponent, we added a new addition. So the main thing I want to speak on before we begin this deck profile is a new card that changes the entire complexity of the deck. And that is, and for those who are wondering what's on my last video, I want to say how, I'm going to give you a lot of tips in this video so you guys know how to win if you guys play this deck on Dueling Book. In fact, I was dueling on, I was playing on Dueling Book on one of my alts and someone was playing my exact same deck. It's pretty crazy. But it's a really, really good deck if you know how to pilot it properly. So, the card that I'm adding to the deck, which is so broken, is Hop Ear Squadron. I want to give a shout out to Elijah Green, who actually uh, is recommended to try the card out, and it's amazing. And I also want to give another shout out to Eric Christensen, who I got that deck idea from to begin with. But I claim the deck now, it's mine, whether you like it or not. So, what Hop Ear Squadron does is on the opponent's turn, it's the, probably the best hand trap in my deck. It's better than Mocharmi, literally. When I see that Hop Ear Squadron and my opponent plays, I know I won. Because you take the Bestial. You take the Bistial and you synchro with on the opponent's turn, making Axile Synchro Stardust to then special the level two to use the quick effect to synchro the satellite warrior in the opponent's turn. So you get to destroy two cards on your opponent's field and they can't play around it. No one's playing around Hop your fucking squadron. So it almost serves as a mini equation cannon that your opponent has no idea about. And you don't just do it with the Bistials, you do it with cards like Rescue Ace Impulse that summons Fire Attacker. So you're able to draw two, discard one, right? And then 
yeah. synchro with it. It's absolutely remarkable. So we're gonna go straight into the deck profile. That's the new deck idea. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Also subscribe if you guys haven't already. Videos are back. Let's go. We're back, baby. Pendulum. If this video gets a thousand likes, we're gonna do pendulum video next. All right. So three engraver, one tracked, one Larkama, one Lurie. Don't play more than one tracked. The idea of this deck is just Fiendsmith control, where you're every any two monsters in the in the field go into a Fiendsmith combo. So cards like Rescue Ace impulse or it's very powerful cards like this deals because they're hand traps to put themselves in the field and get value and then that's it and you will regain value and then this and that's it and you play 30 hand traps it's such a simple deck 11 combo card 10 combo cards 30 hand traps so good so good going second or first rescue's impulse is an incredible hand trap that a lot of people should be playing more of actually you're able to draw two and then discard one and then you get a level six monster with rescue is fire attacker it's the other one i play and it's not like driver because you can just summon this and still trigger it the fire attacker if you hard draw it with this you can just summon both it's actually very very good so these are the fire attacker and of course hop ear squadron which i don't even have right now i'm gonna proxy hop ear squadron is so good that it makes this whole deck because now you're able to if you hard draw any of these with any of the bestials you play you're able to quick synchro on the opponent's turn into satellite warrior and then in conjunction of that with all these multarmies the five bestials put themselves on field look at these hand traps look at these look at these look at these look 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 seriously look in combat with the three hoppier squadron who who the fuck is playing Yu-Gi-Oh? i'll tell you something they're not i'm probably not either i'm drawing five of these but the beauty of it is if you have one of a bestial have one of these have a hoppier squadron you're gonna end your turn with two three cards in the field you side deck into Phantasma, you side deck into Mourners, even side deck into four, 34 hand traps. Post side deck, I actually remove the entire Bistial package, the, these four, for two Mourner and two Phantasma against heavy combo decks. That way you're playing 34 hand traps post side deck. I cut the engine a little, uh, sorry, I cut the nib from three to two. I put Phantasma in the side and I remove Sorinir. Sorinir sucks um, a lot. And not the good kind of suck. It's just awful. Bistials are not even that good. So the only reason you're playing Bistials is for Lubelli and yes, but that Baldrake is great in this deck. But this is the new uh, ratios as well as Fire Attack and Three Hopper Squadron. And yeah, that's the deck, 30, 41 cards. With no floodgates left on the deck. I'm gonna show you guys the extra deck just so you guys are aware of how to play this deck properly. Uh, this card's so broken. I had no idea what it was until someone in the comments said, hey, Triff, you should play a Gunmei. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'll read the card. Bro, what this card does is you're always able to summon the Desiree like this. So when you summon the Desiree, you have Sequence and Agame at the bottom. So it's a 5,800 attack monster that can't be targeted, that is piercing damage for free. Because typically, this shit deck that does nothing goes Sequence, Effect, Summon Desiree, and then you just go Sequence, Effect. So that does nothing. What you could do is just go into... Fiends with the gun, mate. Effect. Then you get the Desiree, you get this, and then you use a sequence. Not, and it can negate five cards on field, not that it'll ever come up, but it's 5,800 attack and it can be targeted. That does come up a lot. This setup, combined with three hand traps, four hand traps, wins the game almost every time. It's very difficult to lose that. And then when this leaves, you also get to get rid of a card. You don't even need a follow up. Like that is a follow up, because this is in itself will then. Go go Rakim, effect, shuffle back. So you just shuffle uh, one like this back, shuffle the card, you just continue going. Like you'll just keep going like, on and on and on and on. Al Mirage is very important as well for when you can't play with the Bistials, you normal Availer or something like that. Uh, SP Moon and uh, the Chaos Angel play Lars as well. It's actually very good. Typhon, uh, Lars is very good because of the rank sixes. You could play Seal if you want, but Lars allows us you could go Engraver or the Bistial to make the Lars to give you protection. And now this is the cool part, it's the synchros. This is the biggest part I want to speak on. With the Hoppier Squadron, it changes the deck entirely. It's actually a really good deck with the Hoppier Squadron. Without the Hoppier Squadron, you have too many baby boards, basically. The Hoppier Squadron makes this entire deck. Hoppier Squadron is the best card in this deck. I'm not kidding, it's truly amazing, better than Mount Armies. It's so, so, so good. And I hope that anyone that's playing Bistials in their deck anyways, or that might want to try out Rescue Ace Impulse, that for our playing Mo Charmies anyways, if I could just choose my hand trap lineup, it would be the three impulse, three hoppier squadron, two like I don't know, two droid worm and a magnemite, and then just every Mo Charmy in the game. That this right here, this is better than Ash, better than Dom Dominus Impulse. If you're able this is a I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Rescue ass impulse is better than Dominus Impulse. 
when you combine it with Hop Your Squadron because you're drawing two discarding one and then your satellite will destroy two fucking cards, bro. It's so broken and so good. I cannot explain enough how I feel like I already win the game when I see a level six in my hand and a squadron in my hand. Unbelievably broken, especially when they all get value. That what you do with these is this goes into level two and then opponents turn quick effect to start us and the synchro is unaffected. So they can't stop this by any means necessary. They cannot negate this. They cannot do anything. It's unaffected by effects for the whole turn because of this. Because of this. So satellite warrior will pop two. Also as situations, I have the dispatter when it's your turn. Sometimes you want to negate over the pop and dispatter will be able to summon a bestial or whatever's banished or uh, a bunch of, uh, of the, if any feedsmith cards get banished because it's summoned back. And Croc does come up for weird scenarios where you can normal summon Ash Blossom or Ghost Ogre or Mourner, Poseid, whatever, uh, to uh, with one of the level sixes to make this. But also, when you're playing Phantasme, Phantasme and Hop Your Squadron can make this on the opponent's turn. Then because Phantasme is drawing, you're able to basically get Croc's effect almost for free. So Phantasme in the main is pretty good with this, but I want the main deck to be good versus uh, uh, the loser deck, Tempai. So uh, I don't main deck Phantasm, but it comes up a lot. Guys, it's really, really good. I do think all you guys should try it out, at least on Dueling Book. And if you like it on Dueling Book, play it in real life. Because it, it'll, if you play perfectly with the Hopier Squadrons and stuff, it actually just doesn't lose. It's very weird. It's not a good deck, by, like it's not a crazy good deck by any means. It's a good deck, but it doesn't put up, doesn't summon 35 times a turn like the decks I'm used to. So try it out for your guys' selves if you like it, because it's actually a very good deck. One Locals again today. Um, I haven't dropped a match yet with this deck, actually. Uh, with the Hopier Squadron as well. Which I didn't even... I played the whole Locals with the 10-card extra deck. Because I don't have Hopier Squadron. So I'm playing with the 10-card extra deck. Uh, my Synchro just stayed there. Just for the vibe, they did nothing. But do it. When I play online with Hopier Squadron, I clap everyone. But yeah, big shout out to Elijah Green and uh, Eric Chris who... Uh, well, Elijah Green convinced me to play... Uh, Hopier and Eric Christensen had this list once. I saw it online. It was awesome. I wanted to play it. Uh, the next decks I'm going to try out are uh, definitely a Pendulum deck for sure. I kind of want to try out Medulce. I think Medulce is actually low-key nice. If done properly with the Vermin uh, self cards, whatever the heck those are called. But that's it. Did you drop one million likes to move to Saga? If this video gets one like, I will move to Saga. Yo, bet. <laughs> Let's go! But if I move to Saga, there'll be a big problem. No one in this locals can we'll can beat anymore. me. They'll never top. Yeah. Exactly. Then, and we're gonna be fighting for they second place. Win. Oh, you're right. You're just you're gonna right. be fighting for second place. You're right. You know what? That's not bad. Second place is not bad. They can, can get first loser. First loser. Exactly. Exactly. I'm sold. I'm moving to Mississauga. We're gonna play on touch every day. Let's go.